narcissism. Hello. Narcissism is okay. 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 Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. I decided to make a video about struggles with having borderline personality disorder. The first thing that is most difficult with it is having to explain someone that does not understand oh damn that does not understand what it's like having borderline and trying to explain them that it's very different from bipolar although having borderline does not say ah oh, damn having borderline does not say you cannot have bipolar too and most occasions they do come together they do re you know occur simultaneously having to prove to others that you're not crazy wow that's so true having to reassure people you're not dangerous to be around sometimes being borderline can be dangerous to yourself you know self-harming or suicidal thoughts or just being overall um, compulsive with buying stuff or doing stuff or trying and just be too much so yeah that is a true thing struggling to get help because many therapists won't work with someone with BPD that is really true here in my country we have a big problem with that most often you have to come and state that the problems you're having is not that you have BPD is that I have an eating disorder and I have a problem with controlling aspects of my life such as you know being too impulsive or I'm suicidal just you know kind of going around it but not saying it right in your face because a uh, therapist here just deny it completely and try to ignore all the signs of it like if you say hey hello I want to make an appointment I have borderline and blah 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 it's so like yeah I'm not interested in that I'm sorry try to look for someone else say so instead of that you need to deceive them and lie to get into therapy just so you can get treatment for borderline so that's great let's see Oh, having your mental health team treat you like a child. I'm not sure about that, but because they still don't have a mental health team. But it is true about friends, because like the few friends I told them about that, they're like, "Oh, I need to tiptoe around you. I need to be careful and answer messages so you won't think I'm abandoning you." And blah 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 blah. You know, just like trying to child me and mom me a lot. Having to commit months of time and dedication if you choose to enroll in dialectical behavior therapy DVT. Oh my god. Okay, I started, I need to do a video about this, about my experience with BetterHelp. Not even gonna start with that. She did send me my first therapist I switched to send me some dialectical behavior therapy DBT sheets I don't want to do them because like I, I don't get to doing that because like that's something that I need a, a real therapist to kinda that'll make me do it to get me do it because right now I'm not interested in that because like I don't I try and notice the behaviors once they're happening like with uh, alcohol or like money spending I do try and like notice the moment and try to fight the urges at the moment and see how I can handle them differently like self-harm like thinking of self-harm and 
how and what can I do not to do, but yeah, it's it's a lot of work and feeling patronized in every therapy session as if you don't know how to act like a functioning human being. True, true. Ooh, let's see. Being given a handbook in handbook in DBT that teaches you how to express emotion step by step, yet still messing up. Yeah, yeah, I have a worksheet that tells me like how I should behave or react in situation in situations. And although I know that and I see that, it's like nope. <laughs> Practice all the DBT skills only to find they don't work for every situation in your environment impact impacts their effectiveness. Yes. Having people ask if you're like insert pop culture culture with BPD. Yeah, it's like when you say BPD, it's like oh, like Vanilla Rider and what about that? A girl disturbed, I guess. If I'm not if I'm not wrong, Vanilla Rider had the BPD in the movie, or was that Angelina Jolie? Either one of those. Uh, being seen as attention seeking every time you self harm. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Yes. Oh my God. Are you piercing yourself because you're trying to get attention? Uh, what are those cuts? Is it for attention? Mm, are you trying to be sad to get pity? Yeah, yeah, bitch. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Just feel nothing and I have to cut to get your attention. That's what I need. I'm like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Going medication for bipolar disorder to do nothing for you because you don't actually have bipolar disorder. I can't relate to that because I'm not quite sure. Like. I'm waiting to get professionally diagnosed about that because I am having some manic and depressive episodes. So as I said before, they can be performed at the same time. So yeah, that's that's a, a deep one. Wondering if you're if you'll ever be able to function in society. Damn, that's it. That hits home. Appearing to be two-faced because your opinion on certain people can drastically flip back and forth. That's so true. It's like one, one day you want all the attention on a friend and then the other day they, they message you and you don't want to answer. Being exhausted at the end of the day of, from all the emotional changes you experience daily. Oh shit, that's so true. One day, like one day, this Monday I was at a sick day at home, and I was with a friend, and we were watching a show on Netflix. Great show with Emma Stone, love of my life. I came there, I was depressed, and then I was happy, and then I was anxious, and then I was depressed, and then I was like hyper again, and all of that in the span of four and a half hours. That was great. <laughs> it's just... I I came home and I didn't even need my sleeping pills because they just crashed and it doesn't happen that often lately. Always feeling like you're overreacting even when you aren't. OMG, that happened to me yesterday. I had a fight with my boyfriend, like a tiny fight, and I went out with a friend, which the fight was kind of about, and I told her about the fight. I was like, yeah, I think I overreacted, and I think, you know, I, she was like, what happened? You look kind of sad. I was like, yeah, I'm okay. I just had a fight with my boyfriend, but I know I made it up, and probably not even that bad as it happened, and I just imagined it, and, you know, yada yada, and I told her, she was like, you're not overreacting. You acted, like, normally, and you reacted normally. That's okay, but in my brain, I'm like, Am I imagining this? Or is it a real fight? Like, I'm not sure. So, yeah, a big one. That is a big one. Like, half of my like, young adulthood, like my teen years, is I'm not being sure if I overreacted most of the times with my parents, or was it really something there? Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Having to constantly ask yourself if your reactions are justified. So true. So true. 
just like what I said now. Not standing up for yourself out of fear of sounding crazy. Yep. Wondering if certain events actually took place or if you're just perceiving them that way. Oh my god, that's a big one. That's a big one. Like half of my childhood, I'm not sure if it even happened or not. Let's just, let's keep going. Not always knowing why you're upset. Yeah, yeah. Like a few years ago, I was crying, and my mom came up to me, like, Nicole, why are you crying? I said, I don't know. Like, what, what made you upset? Why are you so just upset? I was like, I don't know. And she, you know, like, asked me, did something happen? Are you on your special days? Like, no and no. I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed by what? I don't know. If I knew, I would fix it. I'll try, but yeah. Not knowing who your friends are, what you identify as, or what you call yourself. I have three names, so I identify myself as whatever I feel like at the moment. Sometimes I wear pink for months, sometimes I wear black for months, sometimes I have long nails, short nails, then I color my hair red or blonde or silver or blue or whatever. I do a lot of changes to myself because I'm not a self. Uh, basing your identity on what other people say about you and how other people treat you. So true. I treated myself as nothing just because and I still find myself very annoying till this day just because my nickname was like my name and then the words blah blah after it because I used to be very talkative maybe on my you know being too excited and I used to express it with a lot of words so yeah I was sure I'm still kind of sure till this till this day that I'm annoying as fuck and that no one wants to really be around me because I'm annoying and we're sharing and talking and just like oversharing, you know, sharing just enough so people think you're oversharing, but not really sharing. Um, impulse shopping. Oh my god, a big one, a big one, a big one. I have three, three credit cards. I had four. Well, I have one bank card, so that's kind of four now. I try and keep just one on me at all times. The one that I know the code on, I blocked, so I cannot use that for now. And I'm really trying to work on that I'm like not buying anything just I'm buying people for I'm buying stuff for people to myself just like things I really really want but like, I stopped the impulsive buying that's one of the things that the DVT did help me with the impulsive shopping just cuz I well I used to just buy until like I have nothing in my bank account like a zero a total zero each month each month, ooh, oh, that glare though. Each month, I wait. Uh, I'd wait for my uh, paycheck to come in just to cover my money, and then like the paycheck comes in, and then the money goes down, and I'm just back to a zero every month. So, other impulse actions that don't make sense 15 minutes later. Yeah, like binging. Having other mental health issues on top of BPD, just like I told you, like with the anxiety and depression, and also I am diagnosed with ADHD, with high H, so, and I have an ED. More on that later. Feeling you need to apologize for everything, oh my god, yes, I do that for years now. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do that with my boyfriend so much, and he notices it. Like, keep up, stop apologizing. Like, no, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm apologizing all the time. Please forgive me for apologizing all the time. Oh. <laughs> Being told you're a drama queen. Oh. So many times, I can't even count. Hmm. You know, try and keep it to yourself. You don't need to share it or overshare it and tell people it's okay. Like, you have your own thing, and everybody has their own thing. Just try and deal with it by yourself, and don't share it, okay? Just don't do it, because 
think that may fuck up your other works and just don't overshare, okay? Just don't. Thanks, Mom. Feeling like a burden. Oh my god, yes. That's like the big one. And that is so true. I do feel like a freaking burden all the time. Like on my boyfriend, I keep asking him, why is he with me? Like, borderline is horrible. Just not being able to function sometimes because you're not sure if you're overreacting or imagining a situation or misreading it or like, okay, like a real BPD situation spending lots and lots and lots of money in the mall going back home sitting with all the bags all the stuff you have stuff you still have from a few weeks ago closed with tags on and hating yourself because you know you don't need that like just having borderline that is like fun you're not sure who you are, but you get to be a lot of people, so that is great. So, hi, my name's Karen. I'm 23 years old. My hair is now silver blonde. I did it myself. I have eight holes in my ears. Made this one myself, this one myself, those three myself, so that's five I did, two I got when I was a baby, and this one is my newest one, which I finally got professionally done. By the way, impulsiveness. Tattoo, moment of impulsiveness. My first one, did it totally impulsively. I'm not sure who I am. Some days, I like to wear leggings and sweatshirts and ripped jeans with bands. Some days, I like to wear pink, girly, girly dress with heels. And I do that for months and months. Sometimes I'm too depressed to take a shower for days. And then when I do, my hair looks so good. Like right now. Some days I love the shit out of myself. I love myself so much. Like narcissistic. Some days I wish I was not born. Because I'm not worth it. And I'm not good enough. And I'm not enough. Not for my parents struggling with me growing up and not wanting to do anything. Not for my boyfriend that has to deal with this mental shit. Not to my friends. If I did not exist, it would be better. I have those days. Mostly. Just knowing I'm a burden is great. But overall, that's, that's me. Like... That's my personality, and that is my personality disorder. So I love my hair, though. That's that's one thing I will always love, no matter what I do to it. Cause like very successful hair. I hope it succeeds more than I do. Mm. Bye.